tell you, this is a sad, tragic, and frankly, ghastly situation here. Investigators say the death of an Oklahoma preschooler was no accident. News Force Kaitor K is on the night beat for us, and he got back from Duncan earlier this evening where the suspect was in court this afternoon to learn the charges against him. Kaitor. The three-year-old victim is the son of the suspect's girlfriend. She wasn't in court today, but sent us a note saying she feels depressed, betrayed, and misses her son more than anything. What they've been through and what they've seen is probably so horrific that it's going to affect them the rest of their life. The family of three-year-old Eli Newsom says his young life has been ripped away. Accused of his murder is his mother's boyfriend, Ryan Towell, who was charged with first-degree murder and child abuse Thursday afternoon. Court documents reveal earlier in the week, while Eli's mom was at work, Towell called 911 because Eli was sitting on the toilet unresponsive, slumped against the wall. He told Duncan police that Eli wet his pants and he had pushed the three-year-old, causing him to fall down face first and hit his head. The child later died at the hospital. Relatives say Eli was covered in bruises and the medical examiner ruling his cause of death as a homicide caused by blunt force trauma. In 31 years of doing this job, it's probably one of the worst I've ever seen. Lead detective Leo Baker says the pictures of Eli were hard to stomach. It's still ongoing, so I can't describe them. All I can tell you is that I don't ever want to have to see that again in my career. Towel's bond has been set at $5 million as the family mourns the tragic death of their little angel. They're wanting justice for Eli, and that's what I'm doing. I'm his voice. So I'm going to speak through him for, through paper and through the judicial system and make sure I can get that little man everything he deserves. Towell is also facing a felony child abuse charge for maliciously pushing Eli's six-year-old sibling. His next court hearing is on December 5th.